Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please uh, type one or anything in the area. We have the discussion area. Maybe it's on the slide. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, I brought him.
Okay, it's time for class. Let's begin. Uh, you can hear me, right? Um, some students are still out of the class, but we, uh, the, I, I see there are only 10, yes, 10 students in class, uh, but we can't, we can't wait for them. And so let's just start, okay? Uh, it's nice to, um, sorry, uh, it's nice to have this opportunity to get you um, to learn this very important course. Uh, so my name is Liu Xiping. Okay, so I come from School of Computer Science. And uh, in this class, we'll uh, learn a lot of important concepts, methods, principles about operating systems. And uh, first, we should learn something, some in basic information about this course. So, uh, hold on. I'm not sure if you can hear me clearly. Uh, can you give me any feedback? Uh, you can type one yes or anything. Okay, thank you. So about this course, you already know it's a compulsory course and it's a foundation professional course. And um, uh, for, the, for, for those students major in uh, computer science, computer application, or any majors related to computer, uh, you have to take this course because it's very important uh, to uh, understand the basic principles, how the, how the computers work. Uh, you, you have to uh, learn some basic principles from operating system so you can use the computers or you can design the programs better. Um, for this course, it's mainly about some management methods. Uh, basically, we learn the operating system uh, just about everything is about resource management. So you know there, there are CPU, memory, disks, and a lot of input and output devices connected, in, uh, uh, included in the computer, right? So operating system is the uh, the, the the basic system or uh, a software system it is a it's a basic software to manage all of these resources in the computer including uh, some software uh, resources i mean the files in the stored in the computer hold on i need to uh, change the shape of the so it's about uh, operating system. It's uh, all about the resource management, including tons of hardware, software, uh, uh, hardware, and software resources. And for this uh, course, it includes eighty classes and have five credits. Uh, among the 80 classes, we have four, 64 classes for theory learning and 16 classes for experiments. Uh, I'm going to uh, explain uh, how to arrange all of these 80 classes uh, uh, in more details for you. But before that, let's check the textbook. Uh, the textbook is uh, named the uh, uh, modern operating systems. Uh, it's written by Andrew Tenenbaum. And uh, I'm not sure if you want to buy this textbook. If you don't want to buy it, you can get the uh, ebook uh, in the WeChat group. I'll, put, I'll upload it in the group after the class. So if you want to read some more reference books, you can uh, check this too, or you can uh, find uh, a lot of information on internet. So that's about the textbook. And now let's move on to the arrangement of the uh, theory learning. 
uh, you can see if you if you already have the uh, uh, no matter the um, uh, no matter the, 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 the textbook in uh, paper material or in uh, e edition you can see there uh, are over 1000 pages in the book so basically it's uh, it's uh, maybe it's impossible for you to uh, read through all of this uh, contents in the book so we just focus on the first uh, on the former six chapters uh, from chapter one to chapter six and you can see we have uh, six classes for the introduction for chapter one in chapter one you will uh, learn some basic concept, con con concepts in operating systems and you uh, after the uh, after learning chapter one uh, you are supposed to uh, how to say, uh, to build a framework about this course. You will know what is an, uh, what an operating system is, and you will know um, what, how, uh, what, what the uh, operating system is used for, uh, what's the function or the job of the operating system. And uh, if you want to know more about how operating system work, how, how how operating system uh, manage all the uh, all, all the hardware or software resources in the computers uh, you need to uh, you need to move on to chapter two and uh, to chapter six so chapter two it's about processes and threads um, basically this is about the most important uh, hardware uh, resource it's CPU right we use computer to process something to computing something and when we uh, run some programs in a computer uh, in fact we run the uh, the codes in CPU uh, so the chapter 2 will uh, present how to uh, how to organize multiple programs in the same uh, computer and how to organize them to use the uh, use CPU one after another. Uh, so that uh, um, generally speaking, chapter two is about the uh, management of CPU, and chapter three it's about the management on memory. Uh, so you must know there uh, there is uh, memory in computer uh, to store the code the data uh, which will be uh, which are uh, put into cpu uh, to be processed so um, for memory management we'll talk about some um, basic principles uh, such as page uh, for or segment man management so the chapter three is about uh, uh, memory this kind of uh, hardware resource and for chapter four uh, the chapter four will discuss something about the software resource we call it the, uh, when, when we uh, talk about when we, when we refer to a software resource it means the files stored in the computers uh, so we we'll learn how to organize all the files in uh, one or more disk of a computer uh, and for um, and then we we'll learn something about input or output devices in chapter five uh, we have a lot of uh, input and output devices connected to a computer uh, so we just uh, we're just gonna uh, talk about some basic principles but uh, not so much details about the, uh, each kind of uh, device the device uh, we just talk something gen talk something uh, some principles general to uh, about the input and output devices and for the last chapter it's about deadlocks uh, actually, deadlocks are um, 
something related to CPU management. Uh, but uh, for devlogs, it's not uh, only an issue related to operating systems. Uh, when you uh, program, when you program, when you when you are involved in a, um, not in a project, uh, in, in a project with large scale, you might have this issue, this issue called deadlocks. So we just separated from chapter two. Uh, we have a whole chapter to uh, discuss about this, uh, discuss this, this, this issue, deadlocks. Uh, so that uh, basically we have uh, this, uh, six chapters to learn, and you can see the uh, concrete arrangement about the classes. Uh, after, uh, except, except the theory learning, we have 16 classes of uh, experiment. Um, we will have uh, four experiments. Uh, in this term, you are gonna, because uh, uh, some of you are in the campus. So for 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 these students who uh, uh, live in the campus, uh, it it will it would it will be easier for you to finish this experiment because you uh, you can just go to the lab you you can just go to the lab in building six yes. And you don't need to worry about the uh, experiment environment setting, because we have <clears throat> we have computers with uh, with all of this exper experiment environment. You just need to get in the lab and uh, and uh, run the uh, code or, or 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 just try uh, try to follow. The instructions, which will be, uh, which will be presented to you later, you just need to follow them step by step, and you can fi finish the experiments. But for those students who are abroad, maybe it's more difficult for you, because uh, you need to learn how to set all the how to set the experiment environment. Uh, Basically, we have two software to install. Uh, you uh, you need to <coughs> install VMware. Uh, it's a virtual machine. Uh, it's a software which can pre provide us a, a virtual machine. And uh, you need to install a Linux operating system. Uh, we recommend. Uh, we suggest you to uh, set, to install Ubuntu, but if you have other options, it's okay. It doesn't matter uh, which uh, Linux operating system you choose. Uh, you have this freedom to choose any one you like, uh, but it must be one of Linux operating systems because we need to um, try to uh, do this for experiments in Linux. Uh, you can see we have this four experiments. It's about the first experiment is about how to uh, how to try some uh, Linux basic Linux operations such as list the content of a directory or uh, create uh, uh, list the content of a file. Uh, you need to learn how to operate uh, an operating system. I mean, you need to learn how to operate Linux with a shell, with with uh, through the commands, but not just uh, just not just to click your mouse or touch the screen. You need to use the commands to tell the operating system what you wanna do. Uh, besides, in the in the first experiment, you need to learn how to create a process. So this um, this experiment, you can find its details in chapter one and chapter two. And the second experiment is about uh, some content in chapter two. And the third one is 
uh, about chapter three. Yes, it's about memory management. The fourth experiment is about chapter four. It's about file uh, file systems. <clears throat> uh, before the experiments, I I I will uh, I, I will um, explain what you should do and uh, how to how to uh, and give you some guidelines to finish the experiment. Uh, but I have to say um, for those students are, who are uh, still abroad, you 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 have you have to <laughs> understand uh, you must set the environment first and you can uh, find you can search for this software on the internet by yourself and if you have any uh, problems uh, uh, installing them you can contact me um oh one more thing because i just applied for the um, arrangement about uh, for, for for the uh, date of the ex experiment we, we saved the date for the experiments in the end of last term so, but but we 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 didn't expect that the uh, pandemic uh, is still um, is, <clears throat> is is still serious. So um, maybe we have to change the date uh, because according to the arrangement, the first experiment is set in the third week of this term. So after uh, if if I get get any notice from the uh, from the, uh, the the live the the teachers from the live, I'll let you know. I I'm gonna uh, change the date of the experiment, uh, and then we have to rearrange the date. For now, you just need to know we have four experiments. Uh, and maybe we should uh, <clears throat> put the date uh, in maybe in October or even later. So this is about experiment. Uh, I explained a lot about the experiment because it will uh, it will play a, an important role in the daily performance evaluation. Uh, we have, uh, you can see in daily performance, uh, we will evaluate your attendance experiments and uh, assignments. Um, and experiments are very important for the daily performance. So I hope you can uh, try to set the environment first and then uh, finish all the four experiments and hand in the four reports uh, in time and get the relevant uh, credits for the experiments. Um, besides, you can see um, your your score will have uh, will con uh, consist of three parts. Uh, daily performance uh, it's forty percent, and we have a quiz in the middle of this term. Uh, the quiz will be. Um, uh, it's a problem because we have something we will have some of you are abroad but some of you in campus so i'm not sure how to uh how to set the uh the, the quiz in online or offline i'm not sure but uh anyway we we you you just know for now that we we will have a quiz and it takes twenty percent. Uh, the quiz will uh, maybe it needs ninety minutes to finish, so it will take two classes. Uh, and for the details, we we'll, I'm gonna uh, I I'll let you know uh, before the middle of the term. Okay. Um, so next one is about the, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me on WeChat or you can send me an email, but 
I prefer the you ask me anything on WeChat because I check WeChat much more often than I check the uh, check my email box. So that's all about this course uh, about how to assess it and how uh, what you need to do. You need to take the classes of uh, 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 about 64, 64 classes and 16 uh, classes for the experiment. For the experiments, I, I have to say more about it. Okay. Um, for, for the students in campus, you just need to uh, uh, go to the lab uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at a certain date, at a certain time. But for the students abroad, you have to, <clears throat> you don't need to, uh, you don't you 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 just need to uh, hand in your reports before the deadline of the experiments. You don't you, you you it's totally free for you to decide when to finish your experiments. You just need to hand in four experiment reports. Okay, but for uh, for the students in campus, you have to uh, show your show yourself on time in life. Okay. Uh, so that's all for this course. And now I'd like you to introduce yourself uh, because I have your uh, student number and names, but I'm not sure how to uh, how to call how, what I, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of your names or uh, how you prefer me to call you. So uh, let's from let 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 me check the list. It's there are six, seven, seventeen, right? Seventeen students in class. So we just uh, it it it's very. Uh, you you just uh, need to give a very brief introduction about yourself. You just tell me how to call you, okay? Then and uh, if you are interested. Uh, in about introducing uh, uh, the in introducing uh, some other other things such as hobbies or or whatever uh, you can see something uh, on the slides okay uh, so let's start from from the how to see um, let's just Let's just start from number five, okay? Because I have the I have this list. Uh, some of you are transferred from other majors. Some of you are uh, are uh, some of you are original belong to other class. Uh, so let's start from the uh, from from the number five in nineteen o three o one. It's called Michael, right? Should I call you Michael? Uh, is Michael here? Yes, you are here. And and uh, I'm not sure you if you can uh, see something on this. Are you using the app or PC? You are using your phone or? Oh, I on YouTube. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me check. How about now? Can I? Hold on. I just saw some applications to join this class. I need to. Okay, now we have around 24, 25. Okay, sorry, I, I have to uh, send some message in WeChat groups because I just missed the application from them. I have to tell, I have to tell them they can try to get in the class again.
okay invite you to speak hold on hold on <laughs> i'm looking for the uh for the button because uh, uh they just update the software and it's uh, a little bit different from the original version i'm familiar so i i need to i i think maybe you can try raise your hands up uh hold on Yes. I didn't mute you. I I just checked my setting. Um. Okay. So do you can can you see a hand in your screen? On your screen there is a hand. If you can see the hand, maybe you uh from uh, I just called Michael, right? Uh so Michael can press the push that button, touch touch the hand. If you touch the hand, maybe you can say something to let us hear hear you okay uh i saw 29 eyebrow high you raised right and michael raised too so so uh from uh so let, let, let's uh let, let's 29 speak first okay and then uh, Hi, yeah number five Okay. So how uh, how can I call you? Ibrahim or uh, Ibrahim sure about the pronunciation? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Okay. Ibrahim. 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 Uh, the stress is on is yeah. the second syllable. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on, uh, So you are. Oh, it's very early. Uh, you you are in. It's, you 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 are five hours later now. So okay. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh, oh you are in the other group, right? Are you are Yeah you for the exercises? Yes. The other group? Group. Uh yes, so we, we can set the dates for you, set the time for you to do uh, okay. an exercise in your class later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's turn it's Michael's turn. Hi, Michael. Uh, hi, Michael. Uh, oh, you are yes, in campus. I'm Michael. Oh, yes, you are Michael. So you are in campus. Good, good to learn that. Uh, so is there anything else yes, uh, to share? Yes, uh, What? Uh, I beg your pardon? No. Uh, you don't have anything? No, 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 no. You don't have anything else to say, okay? No. So, uh, I no. just need to make sure. Yep. Michael, okay, Michael, the next, next one is uh, number six. Solomon, Solomon, Solomon. Yeah. Okay, Solomon. Right? Oh, you can speak. Are you Solomon or Solomon? Yeah. All right. Solomon. So, um, I'm so, yeah, I'm Solomon Quality number six. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're number six. Yeah, and but I, I prefer call to be called Soul. Solomon. Oh, oh, I call you Soul, right? So yeah. or Solomon? <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, sure. So, uh, maybe. So. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, prefer me to uh, to uh, call your Chinese name, it's okay. Is it? Is is, is that all right for you? Because <laughs> some, uh -huh. uh, some students in right, no uh, last grade, they they prefer me. 
call them call their Chinese names. Mm. I'm not sure. You you just let me know uh, what you prefer me call it, to call you. Okay. So right. So, sure. Sure. All right. <laughs> yeah. And you are in in okay. our campus. Good. So next one is uh, yeah yeah in campus. Okay. Thank you. So that that's all for you, and it's the right. next. Uh, mm. It's number eight. It's the turn of number eight. Uh, it's number eight here. Let me check. Number eight. Number eight. Sutter. Oh. Is Sutter here? Ah, uh, you can touch the hand. You can touch the hands, the, the, the little icon. I, I'm not sure where it is on your screen. <laughs> okay, you, you touch that. Uh, okay, hold on. Hi, hi, Sutter. Oh, <laughs> am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> All right. I just invited you to get on the stage you, you 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 can try to say something Sutter? oh i'm inviting i'm inviting you did you see my invitation uh do you mute yourself because I can't hear you. Okay, so uh, maybe you can. Oh, you just refuse the invitation. Reject the invitation. Okay. Um. So so I I know you are here, and maybe we just move on to the next one. Uh, if I if I I am right about the pronunciation. Sutter, and if I'm wrong, just let me know. Okay. Uh, so five, six, eight, and next one should be number ten. Oh, it's a long name. Uh, number ten. It's number ten here. Oh, sorry, you are still. Let me check number ten. Okay, number ten is not here. Number ten is in the campus. It's not here. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, 11. Number 11. Oh, it's in Russia. Eleven, number eleven, number eleven. Okay, I can't find him. Maybe he's not here either. So next one should be number twelve. Number twelve. Chris, Chris, right? 10, uh, 11, I'm not here. How about number 12? Uh, Chris, David, Gilger, off. Okay, I saw you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, so I am already uh, on the stage. Are Sorry? Say anything? Yeah, my name is Christ Obi, and you can call me Chris. You just mute yourself. You should touch the... Touch the small 
I can, I'm not sure where it is. But like this? On you. Can you hear me? Oh, ah, it's all shit. Maybe you can try to type anything, type something in the discussion area. Uh, yes, I'll see. Chris, can you hear me? Okay, anyway, I, I know you are here, but... Uh, Sorry? But maybe we should move on to the next one, 14, number 14. Oh, you should, you, you, you are the monitor, right? Let's move on to the next Number fourteen. Uh, number fourteen. If you have anything to uh, talk to me in class, I. I, I suggest you type them in the discussion area because uh, I won't check my WeChat during the class. Uh, if you have anything to say, you just type them in the uh, in, in the area in the uh, on the app in person class. Okay. So where is number fourteen? Number fourteen. He is the monitor, right? And he is Bangladesh, only two hours of time difference, but it seems that he is not here. Number 14, okay, number 14 is not here. Uh, let's move on to the next, next years. Number 15, number 15. Yes, me, 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 me her right, or uh, is number 15 here? Just touch the icon with a uh, hand, okay? Number 15, can you hear me? Number 15. So we have to uh, get familiar uh, with this pattern because uh, during the whole term, the semester, we 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 will use this uh, platform to uh, to do uh, before we uh, ask you any formal questions about the content of this course. Uh, just start from the uh, self introduction. But I it seems that there are kinds of problems. You you can you touch the hand option, but it's not working, right? Oh, I can't see. I can't see you touch so. Okay, so let's re. Maybe something is wrong with the app. I just re. Okay, I saw you. Hi. Me, me, her, right? Hello, no. Uh, you are yeah, already it's me, me, her, can speak. You can try to yeah. speak. You can, can you hear me, To let me know how to call you. Yeah, you can call me, her, up. Me, her, right? Am I right? Oh, yes, yes. Right? Oh, yes, okay. it's true. So, so, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I, I just call you, me, her, right? Okay, me, her, right? Meherab or oh, Meherab? Oh, which flavor is this? Uh, Meherab, Meherab. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you are shy to speak or you don't know how to, uh, how, how to speak <laughs> on this platform? Because... Uh, oh, I'm a little bit shy. Because <laughs> during the, uh, the, the class, uh, the, the whole class, uh, all, yeah. all the classes in the term you have to answer some questions in class i see you uh, just okay, mute right. yourself you you just try to unmute it okay 
Can you hear me, Lausche? Hello? Hello? Hello, Lausche? Hi, you have it? Can you hear me, Lausche? Hello? You can. Hello? You can see the microphone, right? You, you, you see the microphone and there is a dash on it. You, you need to touch it. And, uh, and if you say nothing on that microphone, it means you can speak. Can you hear Hello, me? hello, Lausche. Right? Hello. Try to uh, make the dash on the microphone disappear, okay? You just touch it. Oh, Hello. I, I hope to hear from you, but just uh, see your messages on the, uh, in the discussion area. Okay, so maybe you still, you, you cannot figure out how to speak on this platform. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so next one should be uh, 16, number 16. Number 16. Uh, is he, is he here? No, he's not here. Okay, right? Number 16 is not here. Uh, let, let's move on to the next one. Next one should be 17. 17. 17. No, I can't see him. 16, 17, not here. And 19, 19, 19, not here either. Ah, oh, sorry, 19, 20, number 20, number 19, 16, 17, 19, 20 are not here. Okay. So, next one should be 21. Uh, can you hear me, 21? I, I, I saw you are here. So you just touch the icon with the small hand, okay? Let me hear you. 21 should be uh, Jai, Jai Mei Pao. Genital, gen genital. Are you here? Genital, gen. Oh, I saw you were in the list. Number 20, 21. Genet, genital. But, but. Okay. Genital. Oh. You just don't raise your hands up. I have to move on to the next one. The next one should be... Should be 22. Abraham. Ah, oh, 22. 22 should be, oh, 22 is, oh, 22 is in the campus, but he, he's not here, he's not here either. Okay, 22, 20, 25, let's move on to 25. 22, 25, no, no, oh, 24, right, 25 is here, okay, 25, you can, oh, good, I saw you, uh, can you hear me? 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 Oh, oh. It seems that you. It seems that you. Uh, you you are uh, you you are uh, sure too. Now she can. You, can you hear me? The icon with the microphone. Uh, can you hear me? Now she.
Oh, I don't know why. I just can't hear you. Anyone else can hear any voice from 20, number 25, Russell? Russell or Russell? I, I'm not sure. Russell, <coughs> Russell, Russell. Oh, you can hear him, but I can't. What's wrong? Oh. Well, maybe I mute my speaker. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I I I I am so sorry. I... Oh, so now now you just try. It, it, oh, you you just uh, leave here. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I just found the problem. Oh, maybe we we can move on to the next. 25 Russell and 22, 26. Oh, another Solomon? So was Solomon. Oh, okay, 26. Oh, 26 is, um, is abroad. Oh. oh, he's not here. Okay, let's move on to. Uh, Move on to twenty nine. Twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine. Yeah, I saw you twenty nine. Betty? So you oh, you just leave it. <laughs> you just you, you you just went away. Okay, I saw you again. Hi, Betty. Hi. Hi. Ah, uh, Niha. Okay. Hi. All right. Hi. Uh, I'm so glad to hear <laughs> to hear your voice. Uh, I I just uh, uh, touch my touch my uh, I just unmute my speakers <laughs> and I I had no idea that I did it. Sorry, sorry. So uh, so you prefer uh, you you are, you are Betty, right? Betty, the coach. Yeah, your, like my 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 real name is Betty. Yes, your your original name is too hard to to, to uh, for me too hard yeah. to, to pronounce it to pronounce yes. it. So, but, uh, okay, I I just call you yeah. Betty. And is there yeah. anything you want to share with us? You are abroad, right? So, uh, what you I, say? I, I think it's difficult for you to. It's difficult for you to take the class on um, uh, on Wednesday and Fridays, right? Because it's too early. Yeah, it's too early, but we can. Yeah, early, yes, um. So, so if there are any exercise in class on Monday, I hope you can uh, just uh, finish it um, in time. Okay. But if we have any exercise on Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, talk to about the the, the, uh, the 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 time in the other in, in the other group. Okay. Okay, love you. Say Thank you. Time for you. Okay. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Oh. Nice to hear you. Okay. okay, next one should be 29 is here and 30. Okay, 30. Knee, this, knee, this, knee, this. Okay. Russell. Oh, I, I saw Russell is still here. <laughs> Hi, Russell. Russell. I just want to make sure if I. Uh, am I right about your name, Russell or Russell or Ra yeah. Russell or Russell? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you, can, you can say Russell. Yeah, it's Russell. Russell. Okay, it's Russell. Uh, Russell, yeah. and you are let me, Russell twenty five. Russell. Uh, you are in the contact. Good, good. So I, I, I will see you. Uh. Maybe two weeks later, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll see you over yeah. in the Canada. Oh, good, good to know that. So now let's okay. move on to the next. Okay, thank you. Um, let's move on to the next one. Nickist. 
as me kissed or me kissed. I saw you here, right? Me me kissed. Uh, uh, can you hear me? And uh, number thirty, number thirty. Oh, he she is a blood to me kissed. Okay, so maybe, maybe there is something wrong with her phones or computer. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, 31, number 31. Let's check the list. Number 31. Uh, it seems it's not here. Okay, let's move on to 30, 32, number 32. Uh, oh, it's a difficult one. Uh, Aikulova. Uh, oh, it's the last name, right? Anna. So maybe we just call you Anna. Hold on. Okay. Hi, Anne or oh, Anna. 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 Okay, I call you Anna. Um, nice. Uh, is there anything else uh, you want to share with us? No, I think no. that's all. Uh, that's okay. okay, so you are abroad. Hmm. Oh, okay, so let's move on to the next one. <laughs> we don't have too much time. Uh, next one is, oh, one to, I don't know, oh, wine, wine, lime. Oh, where are you? What's wrong? A number thirty-three. I saw you. I saw you raise your hands up, but okay. Now you are here. Hi. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, how to call you your name? Yeah. You are... Uh, Diwam. Uh, Diwam. Lu, Lu, Diwam. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I should call you the... Or maybe Diwam, I'll or type it here. Type it here. Oh, more difficult. <laughs> Luwan. Is that uh, what you I mean? Type it here, here. Here, I have texted it here. Oh, you type it here. Oh, okay. Li Wan. Okay, Li Wan, right? Okay. Yeah. Li -wan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, Li Wan. Okay. So. Oh, you are in the campus. Good. Um. So now let's move on to the next one. It should be, it should be 34, 34. No, not here, 34. Okay, 36, 36, not here, not here either, 36, 34. Oh. I saw it. Thirty four. Thirty four B B O. Thirty four. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, hello. Yes, yes. So, is there any? Uh, do you hear me? For you, Bigner. Can I, can I call you Bigner or? Yes, yes, it's right. Hi. Yes, yes, it's right. So I just call you Beckner, Hello. right? Hello. Oh, can you hear yes, me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Good to know that. Yep, I can. Beckner, uh, you are, oh, you are abroad too. Okay, nice to meet you. Thanks. Uh, let's move on to the next one. 
36, I saw you just raise your hand up, but I can, okay. Now it's your turn, 36. I, the, I don't know. Uh, hello, hello. hello, hello. So your name is, how to pronounce your name? Azamat, you can call me Azamat. Azamat. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Yes. yes. Good, good. Okay. So thank you. Let's move on to uh, number uh, nineteen oh one oh one oh five. Uh, we just check for to the signature. I saw him here. My soul is a long name. My soul. Can you hear me? Number uh, number five from <laughs> Owen. From, from, you just transfer your major here. Masu, Masudu or Masada. Okay, so seven. No, no. You have anything to? Okay, let's listen to uh, number five first. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, must ah, oh, it's too difficult. <laughs> uh, can you tell me your name? Hi. Um, he didn't accept my invitation yet. Oh, what's wrong? Maybe he's abroad. Maybe, maybe, maybe he has bad signal. Okay, let's check anything else. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, what happened? Again, okay, I'm gonna invite you again. Hello, sir. Uh, uh, hello, how oh, nice to hear you here. So, uh i i know your chinese name <laughs> you prefer me call you xiaoyu or or your method yes, yes. your or, orange name how to how to pronounce you me, tell me. Me? Oh, what pardon no one. No one. you can call me xiaoyu i uh, just call you xiaoyu okay okay it's a simple name for me yeah. okay so um if you yes. have any yes. more questions you can contact me later okay so let's move on oh, no, uh, one, more oh, one more question uh when when do you uh transfer to this class when did you transfer from, uh, from yeah, yeah. last year or oh no uh after first semester okay so you are uh the, you are, you are already familiar with your new classmates yes yes oh good good to know that okay so that's it uh let's move on to the next one okay uh, thank you uh, 29 29 from 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 class one <laughs> you you just transferred your majors to 29 Uh, it's not here. One twenty nine zero one zero one zero one twenty nine. 
Oh, I saw you are here. I brought him. I brought him. I brought him. Can you hear me? I brought him. I brought him. You can, you can press the button. Press the icon. Okay, so let's maybe just move on to the next. Uh, thirty. Zero one zero one thirty. Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad. Oh, I saw you. Uh, so twenty nine first, okay, and then number. 30. Hi, I brought him, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Brian, my man. Yeah, Brian. I brought him, okay. Uh, the last sample is six. I brought him. Okay, so you you are in another, in, in the other group, right? I, I saw you over there. And so if we have any uh, exercises. Yeah, we were in the exercise group. Oh, good. The group. Oh, good. Good to know. Okay. Uh, that's it. If you have anything else to share, you can you can see right now. Or I'm gonna just move on to the next student. No, I have no no nothing else to share. Thank you. Nothing else to share. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on to number thirty. Mohammed. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi, Lashi. Oh, you can you turn uh, it can up? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, but it's <laughs> you. You need to turn your voice up. Okay. Mohammed, right? Uh, my name is uh, Mohammed Tamam, and yeah, you can call me Mohammed. Yeah, you can call me Mohammed. Mohammed. Okay, Mohammed. Mohammed. Let me show. Okay, that's all for this class. Uh, and we have we have some students from the uh, from grade four from the uh, are they no no I oh here I just caught one thirty days oh I know you okay number sixty. Oh, but you didn't raise your hand up. So, oh, okay. So, because uh, I just taught them last year. Oh, we don't need to. We don't have any more students to to learn for now. So let's just shut this. Okay, one, two. Yes. Just need to switch off. Okay. Oh, now we can move back to the content of this course. Okay. Uh, finally, we just know most of you, and very glad to hear your voice. On the platform, I'm and I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in the classroom. So now let's move on to the next part. Let's start. Finally, we can start the learning. So uh, as you see, you can. Uh, we, we just jumped over some sections in chapter one. Uh, you, in chapter one, we just need to uh, focus on the definition of the operating system and its history and its classification and some basic con concepts in computer. I mean, uh, the, the, the computer hardware resources. You need to know uh, what kind of uh, hardware uh, resources is in the computer because the operating system is used to manage all the 
hardware and software resources in the computer. So first we need to know uh, the object to uh, to manage. Um, and, and also we will learn some basic operating system concepts and most important is uh, a concept among those uh, concept, the system cores are the most important one. Uh, besides that, uh, we'll learn some um, metric units. Mm. So that's all for the chapter one. Uh, you can see uh, chapter one can give us uh, a, a framework about this course, because after we uh, learn these sections, we will know uh, what the uh, following five chapters are about. They, they are just about different management methods on different hardware or software resources. Uh, so let's move on to the first important part. What is an operating system? So uh, a modern computer, uh, as we, uh, everybody has a computer. Now it's very popular. A modern computer consists of one or more processors. Uh, it means CPU or uh, sometimes we have GPU uh, and main memory and disks and input or output devices such as a keyboard. The keyboard and the mouse, they are input devices because we need to use keyboards or mouses to input some information to the computers. And we have some output devices such as monitor the screen uh, and printers because when uh, the program uh, run after the program uh, runs in CPU, it has to uh, show the results out and it will show the results on the screen or you can print it on uh, printers. Or sometimes when you are watching a video, uh, you can hear the voice from the speaker. Uh, all of these are from the output devices. Uh, so these are the uh, basically uh, nearly uh, in, in, into all the so hardware so uh, resources we need to manage. Uh, in uh, for, for a modern computer. So what is an uh, operating system? It's it's a layer of software. Uh, just uh, we, we can imagine it's uh, wrapped the, uh, the 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 the, the so hardware. Its job is it has two main jobs. One is to uh, provide user programs with a better, simple, cleaner model of the computer. And we can view the operating system as an extended machine. Also, we can view the operating system as a resource manager. These two different roles are uh, uh, decided by two different perspectives. Uh, we can uh, understand that concept uh, from this picture. Uh, you can see in this picture, we have the operating system. It's right here. The upper layer is the user interface program. The lower layer of the operating system is the hardware. It means for the uh, for the per uh, uh, for uh, to the hardware to the uh, processors, main memory, disks, and kinds of input and output devices, to these hardware resources, operating system just plays as a resource manager. Operating system is going to manage all these hardware uh, resources for the kinds of applications in the upper layers and how to uh, how how does the operating system know what to do how and and, and uh, to uh, so we we need the application uh, in the upper layers needs to use the user interface program to let the operating system know what to do 
I mean, if you, for example, if you are uh, playing a song on your computer or on the phone, uh, you have to uh, touch the icon to, to, to play it, right? And when you touch that icon, it's just the way you send the signal to through this user interface. Uh, you 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 send this signal to the operating system to let it know that you want to use the speaker to play some music to play some songs. So, uh, for the hardware, uh, you if you stand uh. From the perspective of the hardware, you view the operating system as a resource manager. If you are standing on, uh, in the perspective of the of the uh, application, you will uh, you will send your commands. You will uh, uh, let the operating system know what you should do. And uh, when you want to use the computer to play some songs to uh, read some emails or to uh, uh, check some information on the internet you need to you you don't interact with the hardware directly you just interact with the operating system through the user interface program you 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 just let the, you you have to ask for some permissions uh, from the operating system then you can get the uh, you, you can have the rights to use the hardware to uh, show some um, show, show some images for you or play some music for you so we have uh, uh, basically speaking the operating system has two important roles one is uh, provided to provide an extended machine because for the upper layers i have to circle this the lower two layers i mean the hardware plus operating system just the the, the two layers together they act as an extended machine for the application programs so this is the first role of the operating system operating system just is a uh, he uh, it is a, a spatial uh, a spatial software uh, to provide an extended machine for the application programs and uh, in, on the other hand uh, if we stand from the perspective of the hardware we'll see that we'll view uh, the operating system as a manager uh, to to decide when uh, uh when to uh, locate, uh when to assign which process to use which hardware uh use which hardware resource right so uh, you can just observe this picture to uh understand what the operating system is and we'll talk it uh, talk it in more details later about the two main roles of the operating system. And on this picture, you have to focus on uh, one more thing. It's called user mode and kernel mode. So you will see for operating operating system, it runs in kernel mode, but for the other two layers of the software, no matter it is a user interface program or no matter it is uh, any kinds of application program, they are running in user mode. So user mode and kernel mode, they are two basic concepts for the operating system. Uh, we'll explain this in more details on this slide. Uh, first, we'll uh, uh, have a look about the two types of user interface. Uh, you just check this uh, picture, right? You see the second layer is about the user interface program. I just said when you want to do something, when the when the program needs to use the hardware to run some uh, to 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 finish some jobs, it has to 
uh, send the request to the operating system through the user interface program. You can't just let the pro, uh, application program interact directly with operating system. There is one more layer between the application programs and operating system. You need to use the user interface program to, to tell operating system what to do. And we have two types. We have two ways to, uh, to, to finish this interaction. Uh, you must be familiar with the second one. It's called GUI, Graphical User Interface. So when you are using your smartphone or the, your, your, your laptop, um, you, you, you must use the mouse or just use your fingers to touch some or click some icons, uh, double click or anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. You just touch them or click them and to uh, launch some program and, uh, uh, and play some music. So, or, or just uh, check some information or search something on internet. That's called GUI because you just use the Windows, you use the graphical way. Uh, you just need, you need to do something, you just touch it. It's called GUI. And the other way is called commands. So commands, it's not based on the graph, uh, on the graph. it's based on text. Uh, for example, if you uh, if you are using Windows, you can tap something uh, at the at the uh, bottom at the left bottom of your screen. You can tap CMD. Uh, it means commands. If you tap CMD uh, at the bot at the bottom of your screen, you can launch the 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 share for Windows. Uh, you can just uh, uh, get a, a window, get a window, and you need to tap everything. You tap each single command into the shell to let the uh, operating system know what you want to do. If you want to open a file, you if you want to read a file, you need to use the command to let it know. I want to, uh, you need to open a uh, which file you need to be uh, provide the the path of the file. I mean the location location of the file, and you use the different commands to tell the uh, the system that you want to read the contents of the file. A different operating system they have different command set. Uh, for example, if you you if you are using uh, the Windows, uh, the open uh, the commands for the opening uh, uh, for opening a file is different from the Linux, and on this course we just mainly focus on how to use uh, commands in Linux to open a file, to read a file, or uh, read the content of a directory, or anything uh, like that. We we have to uh, learn another way. I mean, the command way to tell the computer or just tell the operating system, because operating system is just representing the extended computer. Uh, we need to learn how to use commands to control the computer, but just not the GUI ways. Okay, these are two types of user interface. Uh, the user interface program is the layer between application program and operating system, this special software. And operating system, we said it's the most fundamental piece of software. It runs in kernel mode. I already emphasized this, I emphasized this. And kernel mode is also called supervisor mode. So what is kernel mode or what is supervisor mode? You have to understand and memorize these two concepts because it's very basic for the uh, for this course. A uh, kernel mode means a mode that you can uh, the, the the program in CPU can run all the instruction of the machine. Uh, 
each different machine uh, have different instruction sets, right? I am not sure if you know about this, but you just need to know uh, different chip, different uh, machine. It has different instruction sets. And some of those instruction, uh, some of those instructions are very, uh, how to say, very key, very in, uh, uh, essential for to uh, for, for for the controlling for uh, controlling the whole computer, uh, especially some instructions related to uh, input and output operations, and some of those instructions. Uh, can be executed by only operating system, this special software. Only operating system has the complete access to all the hardware. Only operating system has the right to execute any instruction. And the operating system, we know it's just a special software. Any software needs to run in CPU, right? Uh, the application program runs in CPU to uh, process, process some data to give you to to transform the uh, one zero series into the in, in into the sound or the picture or the videos you can understand. Uh, that's the function for the operate uh, for the application uh, programs. And for the operating system, it it just doesn't do the, the do some uh, uh, do some how to say specific jobs for you. It won't play you the music. It won't let you uh, edit some uh, words uh, in the in the uh, application. But it the operating system uh, will uh, manage all the resources to uh, support of the precisions from the application programs. Uh, for the uh, operating system, uh, it's just some code as the application programs. They have to be uh, put into CPU to run just like the uh, general application programs. Uh, jet, uh, application programs, they have some codes to run to do their own jobs and operating system, this spatial software, it has, it do have some code to run in CPU to, uh, to, do the, to do its own job too. So for CPU, it's very important to recognize if now, uh, if, if, if it is, uh, to, to recognize which kind of uh, program which kind of software is software is in the uh, CPU. So there is one bit in the uh, register of CPU to tell CPU uh, now it's kernel mode or it's user mode. So when CPU need to run a, a series runs a series of code, and when CPU recognize this instruction must be uh, executed uh, in kernel mode. CPU will check that bit to see if it is kernel mode. If it is, it means now it's the code from operating system is running in CPU. Then this spatial instruction will be launched and executed. But if CPU check the bit and found and, and finds that it's it's not kernel mode, it 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 represents it a uh, uh, user mode. It means the code or the program or the software in the CPU doesn't have the right, doesn't have the permission to execute this special instruction. Then it will uh, then the execution on this instruction will be denied. So it's very very uh, important to understand the different two modes: kernel mode and user mode. And you need to know there is one special bit in uh, registers of CPU to mark. Uh, uh, to, to mark the, the concrete mode of the CPU. So uh, the difference between kernel mode and the user mode 
uh, is the um, first important con uh, uh, content you need to you need to uh, grab. Uh, you need you need to know. Okay, you just need to learn about this, and um, so after you understand what is cur what, what uh, kernel mode is, you can understand the user mode because all the rest of the software runs in user mode. It means just you you just need to memorize operating system runs in kernel mode, and the other programs, the other software, they all run in user mode. Because the operating system is different from the other uh, application so, uh, programs or the user interface programs. Only operating system can run in kernel mode. Only operating system has the right to execute all the instructions in the machine instruction set. And for the uh, software runs in uh, user mode, they can only uh, execute a subset of the machine instructions. Uh, you must know the uh, meaning of subset, right? You already learned the discrete, discrete mathematics. So that's about the kernel mode and the user mode. Also, you need to uh, understand the two types of user interface. And after you learn all about these two uh, concepts, you can uh, move back to the definition of, uh, of, uh, of the operating system. We just uh, mentioned, uh, mentioned a few times that operating system has two main roles, two basic roles. Uh, one is an extended machine. You can view the operating system as an extended machine. If you are if you are the general users or the application programs, uh, you just you you can just view operating system as an extended machine. Because for you 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 cannot just uh, interact with the hardware directly. You have to uh, you 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 want the a computer to do anything for you, uh, it, this computer must include uh, the operating system. The computer cannot be just only uh, include uh, some hardware because it can't work without any operating system on it. Uh, when you buy a computer uh, or a laptop, you you must find you must find that the uh, some operating system is already installed on that computer or laptop. If there is no operating system, you cannot use the computer to do anything. So the first important role is to be viewed as an extended machine, an extended machine on the hardware machine with this spatial software uh, and the, um, if you uh, view the operating system as an extended machine its main jobs are to uh, provide some abstractions uh, the abstractions just you can view the the the, the so-called abstractions just some course some course to uh, let operating system know what you want to do uh, for example uh, to to uh, write something into the disk or to uh, uh, use some you use a specific printer uh, so you 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 just need to uh, make some calls to do uh, such operations use some calls to let the operating system knows that you want to use a certain printer, you want to open a certain file on the disk, use this course to uh, notify, to request the, to the operating system. So this is the main major tasks for the uh, operating system as an extended machine. And if you view the operating system as a resource manager, that means you are standing on the uh, perspective of the hardware so, uh, resources. So uh, you have to 
uh, decide the operating system needs to decide when to allocate which uh, hardware or software resource to uh, which process. Uh, I, we, we will talk about process and thread, processes and thread in chapter two in more details. But for now, you just need to know process, you can just match process to some program. Uh, uh, roughly speaking, you can you can take the pro take one program as a process, but they are two different concepts. Uh, we'll explain the difference between a program and a process in chapter two. Uh, for now, you just need to know uh, when you uh, turn on the computer, you want to listen to some music. Also, meanwhile, you want to. Uh, check something on internet, check, check some information on internet. So there are two programs you're gonna, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna open, right? You, you, you need to click two icons to launch them and to play your music and let you can suffer on the internet. The two programs can be viewed as two processes. So process is uh, another uh, uh, essential concept for the operating system. For now, you just can uh, view a program as a process, but it's not right. You can just roughly view it as a process. And so for the operating system, it needs to decide when to uh, allocate which resource to which process, or you can see to which program, because uh, you have only one screen if you want to uh, choose some space, uh, specific songs, you, the, the, the program or music player should uh, take the front bike, uh, the, the window, right? And if you want to check some information, your, uh, the, the other program will take, the, uh, the take in charge of the screen. So uh, there are only, there is only one set of hardware and software uh, uh, hardware and software resources and all the programs needs to need to share the exactly the same set of the resources so we need to know uh, how to share them in two different ways uh, the first uh, sharing way is to share a resource in time, or we can call it time multiplexing. The second way is to share a, soft, a, share a resource in space, or we can call it a space multiplexing. So uh, let, me, let me calculate the time, okay? Uh, so, so we have 19 minutes and we don't take a break. So it means we should we should end the class at oh twelve minutes later. Okay, we have the time to explain this to uh, important concept to, uh, for you. So uh, when we talk, uh, when we uh, say time multiplexing, it means uh, different process processes, or or you can just say different programs. Different programs, they are gonna use the CPU or printer one after another. Uh, we have two different ways to share a certain resource. For CPU or printer, for such kinds of uh, resource, we share it in time. It means we can't allow two or more programs uh, stay in CPU or stay in printer at the at, 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 a, at a specific time point. At a specific time point, there is only one program or process can stay in the CPU or can uh, use the, the printer. The printer uh, at, at any time and at any instant, the printer can be used for only one program. At any instant, at any moment, uh, the CPU can be 
uh, used for can 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 uh, can be allocated can be assigned to only one program. So the uh, way to share CPU is to use this sub, uh, use this resource uh, in different time, one after another. Maybe uh, we, we just give you the example, you uh, turn on the computer, you want to listen to some music. Uh, meanwhile, you want to uh, check in, check your emails or you uh, search some search some information on internet. So there are two or three programs. And at any still at any moment, only the program for of the uh, music playing can be stay in CPU. There is only one program or process uh, in CPU at any student uh, at any sorry at any uh, moment instant. Uh, so uh, it means uh, maybe a uh, 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 minute. Uh, two milliseconds uh, before uh, its its music player uh, program uh, run uh, runs some codes to uh, decode some uh, data into the into the sound or in, 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 yes in, uh, decode the data into some sound to play it in speaker and maybe two mini milliseconds later it's not music player. Uh, program uh, stay staying in CPU. Uh, the CPU is reallocated to the uh, maybe to to the internet program, and then it can uh, interact uh, can 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 uh, search uh, can can uh, allow you to uh, type anything into the uh, into the bar and uh, into the text uh, and to check anything you want. So that, that's called time multiplexing. That means you can, uh, multiple programs can share uh, CPU or printer, but they won't uh, occupy this kind of resource uh, at the same time. They share this, uh, they occupy this uh, kind of resource one after another. And for the second sharing with uh, the typical uh, example is memory or disk. Uh, it means uh, multiple programs can share the main memory or disk. You cannot have them all. When uh, I have to move back to CPU, when a program occupy CPU or occupy uh, or, or uh, occupy printer. It, it can use all the inf uh, resources in this CPU or all the all the hardware in this printer. It just when when CPU is allocated to uh, program one, the program will just take the CPU or take all the part of the CPU. Uh, for the printer, it it it's, it, it works the same way. But for the main memory, if we uh, uh, allocate uh, part of, allocate the memory mem memory to program one. At the same time, we can allocate uh, some mem memory to program two. So you can see at the same time, the two or multiple or more programs they can uh, have different part of the mem memory. They can have the different part of the memory at the same time, that's called space multiplexing. And if pr multiple programs, they can, uh, they can occupy the resource, they can have all the part of the resource at only one instant. It's called time multiplexing. They cannot have the uh, whole of the resource in the same time. They have to use this resource at different time. But when you have it, you can have it all. It's called time multiplexing. And for uh, memory or disk, you can have them all. 
you just have the part of them, but you can have them in the same at the same time. Uh, I hope you can understand what I'm what I'm saying. So the two different sharing ways are very important for us to understand the uh, some more important content in in chapter two. Uh, for now, you have to uh, understand the two different sharing ways. Time multiplexing means uh, uh, means you, you you occupy all the resource at different time. Space multiplexing means you uh, you you occupy the part of the resource at the same time. You can uh, share them at the same time, but you just have part of the part of it. For time multiplexing, you cannot uh, share it at the same time. You have to use them in, at different time. But when you have it, you can have it all. So that's the two different ways to share different resources in the computer. You also need to know CPU and printer. They are time multiplexing resources. And memory disk, we use memory or disk to store some program, uh, I mean the code. Uh, you use memory or disk to store some code, some programs, and some data to be processed by the program. Uh, you store them in memory or disk. And memory and disk, these two resources are typical space multiplexing uh, resources. So you can uh, uh, you can recall some more resources in the computer. For example, uh, the mouse, the keyboard, uh, and the scanner. You can name some resource and you can classify them into different uh, different uh, resources with different sharing ways. So this is the second uh, very important concepts uh, in this class. So the first one is uh, you need to understand the kernel mode and the user mode. Kernel mode is for operating system. Uh, operating system can execute all the instruction machine set. And for, uh, for the user mode, it can only execute a subset of the instruction set. So the first important thing is to understand the kernel uh, mode and user mode. The first, uh, the second important thing is to understand the two different sharing ways. One is called time multiplexing. The other one is called space multiplexing. Uh, besides, you also, uh, I, I think, I believe you already understand the uh, the so-called uh, operating system. Actually, there is no, uh, as I know, there is no exact definition for the operating system. We just describe what is what it is used for. Uh, we describe what it, what an operating system can do for us. Uh, but uh, it's hard to uh, have a unified uh, conception. A unified concept definition about this operating system. So you just need to understand the operating system. If you uh, view it from two different perspectives, you can have uh, you you can see it can play two different important roles. For the application programs, it just acts uh, the operating system acts like an extended machine can uh, finish the jobs the the, the application programs request. And for if you uh, stand from the perspective of the hardware uh, resources, you can view the operating system as a resource manager. And the second point is the uh, is, is the one I need you to uh, put more effort uh, to understand. Because uh, I, I just said it many times, uh, all the operating system is about resource management. You have to understand what to manage, how to manage, when to manage. So
so that's all about the uh, about uh, the the first section of the first uh, chapter and also it's the most important uh, section for this whole course because you have to understand what we uh, need to learn uh, what we uh, uh, what we learn uh, is used for you have to understand this then we'll uh, explain more about the way how to uh, manage the resources okay so that's all for today uh see you next time it must be uh, uh wednesday and some of you might uh, be absent absent for for the next class it's okay uh you can uh, uh yes i just uh, record this you can uh, watch the playback after the class so bye see you next time